Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from sysadmin102. In today's video, I will show you how to set up VPN failover. So in the event of the primary VPN go down or it experience high latency, the system will automatically switch over to the backup VPN. Uh, you can either have multiple server or you can have uh, two different kind of VPN provider and the system will automatically switch over to the other one uh, so we can maximize the uptime and before we get started I just want to thank you for your support and uh, like always at the end of the video if you think the tutorial is helpful or you enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe, like and share and let's get started current tutorial we are on AppSense version 25.1 and as a friendly reminder if you haven't done so, make sure that you make a backup of your system configurations. If you already follow my tutorial on how to automatically backup your system configurations, uh, all you can do is go to uh, System and Configuration Backup. And then you can select uh, Setup Test Google Drive. And that will automatically make a backup of your current configurations. All right, so first thing uh, before we get started with step number one, if you follow my tutorial on um, Monit, how to uh, enable the notifications for um, Gateway, make sure that you temporarily disable it, because then if not, you're gonna get a bunch of emails notify you that the Gateway up or down. So when you go to uh, setting, under uh, services and setting, we're gonna uh, uncheck the Gateway alert, and we're gonna select apply. So that way, while we are testing the new setup, we're not going to get uh, a lot of uh, notifications that the gateway going down. All right. And let's get started with step number one. We're going to go to uh, system. And then we're going to head to uh, gateways. And we're going to select group. We're going to add a new group. All right. I'm going to call it... Uh, WG for wire gore and then underscore VPN underscore failover and then we're gonna select the tier so tier one that the highest one so number one priority would mean that the primary uh, VPN and then for the second one we're gonna select uh, tier two that the backup one and you can have if you have more um, you're gonna go to tier three so on and so far and for the description, it's going to be uh, wire gore VPN failover. And for the trigger level, we're going to select a package loss or high latency. So instead of waiting for it to determine as DAO, um, if you experience packet loss or high latency, it's best just to switch to another server so that you have a better uh, reliable network instead of you know experiencing the high latency or packet loss. All right, and when we done that, we're going to save it. And we select Apply Changes. All right, next we're going to create a new firewall alias. So we're going to go to uh, Firewall and then select Aliases. And then first we're going to, if you follow my tutorial, you probably have multiple um, rules for the tunnel. So we're going to go ahead and disable those. And we're going to select Add to add the new rules. Uh, so after we releasing the new alias, then we can go back and delete out the old one. And we're going to call it uh, WG for wire gore VPN tunnel. And the tag is going to be uh, network. And then the content, I'm going to put my uh, subnet in there. So this is my local subnet. So you can pass this through a local subnet or um, whichever VLAN or whatever subnet that you want it to access through VPN. And if you want to pass this through a single IP address, you will select host. And you want to pass this through a MAC address, you will select a MAC address. All right. And for the decryptions, we're going to call it uh, wire gore VPN tunnel. for net all right we're gonna set it 
and we need to select apply setting and next we're gonna move over to uh, net and then outbound and then we're gonna update the uh, source with the new alias that we just created so we're gonna change this to um, WG VPN tunnel all right and then we're gonna save it and we we're gonna do the same one for the second one we're gonna change the source address to um, WG VPN all right we're gonna save it then we're gonna apply changes all right moving on to the next step we're gonna select rules and then floating and then from here if you have multiple rules you can uh, just delete one of them out uh, but before that we can just uh, select the first one and we will select edit and then from here so right now I have the Proton VPN address so I'm gonna combine it and adding the North VPN address as well and then for the destinations, I'm going to add it in uh, NordVPN net as well. And lastly, for the gateway, we're going to update it with the VPN fail out over that we created. All right. And when we've done that, we're going to select set. And then we can go ahead and delete the additional rules. We can combine them all together. All right, and when we're done that, we're gonna apply changes. All right, next we're gonna modify the LAN rules. So we're gonna select LAN. Then from here, we're gonna update the first one and we're gonna delete out the North VPN tunnel. So we're gonna select edit. And then for the first one, the WireGuard uh, Proton VPN nest, we're gonna change that to the WG VPN tunnel. Actually, we're going to uncheck the other one, Proton. Yep. Make sure that you only have the WireGuard VPN tunnel. And then for the gateway, we're going to switch it to um, the WireGuard VPN failover. And then once you've done that, we're going to go down and we're going to select set. And then we can delete out the North VN because uh, the these rules are kind of combine um, the two rules that we previously created. So we're gonna apply changes. All right. And next step, you just have to make sure that your um, VPN server is up and running. So I got both of my instances up and running. All right. Next, we're gonna do some testing and I'm going to show you a few scenario and some more uh, setting that might applicable to you might not so I'll let you choose whichever applicable to you and if whether you want to use this or not so we can use a tool called uh, browserleaks.com slash DNS and as you see this is a Proton VPN server and these are my DNS server uh, I'm using the next DNS so if we go back and we go to uh, system and gateway and under roof, uh, actually we go to uh, configurations. So by default, Proton VPN, uh, I give it uh, tier one, so it have priority. So it automatically start with Proton VPN as on the way. Uh, we're gonna mark it at DAO, and that should automatically switch over to uh, the North VPN. There we go. And you see the IP address is changed. Uh, this is a North VPN server. And then next, I'm going to disable a North VPN as well. So we're going to mark the gateway as DAO. And we're going to apply changes. And notice that it switched right back to um, Proton VPN. Because even though you mark the gateway as DAO, it not actually DAO and the system can detect that. So what we can do is we can actually uh, completely disable the instances. So when you go to wire core instances, and I can disable both 
uh, Proton VPN and NOR VPN. And notice that we uh, do not have the connections because the way the fire, firewall rules and um, the way that the LAN rule works, if the tunnel completely go down, you will not have any connections. So in this case, if you want to have internet, what we can do is um, we can go back to a system and then gateway and then roof. What you could do is you can uh, edit the um, VPN fail over and you make the WAN DXCP as the whatever the last one. And we're gonna save it. So that's K. When both of it fail, it's gonna default back to the WAN. So, and we should be able to have connection. Yep. All right. So that one scenario, and let me turn back on the VPN instances, and we're gonna apply. So for the gateway to this tag that they have been restored, we have to restart the VPN. So we're gonna go to lobby and dashboard, and then we're gonna restart both of it. And under system, gateway, and root, uh, it's still apply because we force this apply. So that's one way you can test it. So Proton VPN is number one. So we're gonna switch the Nord VPN back on first. So it should automatically connect it to Nord VPN now. We're gonna do a refresh. Yep, and it connected to uh, NOR VPN. Notice there are some more v uh, DNS server. That's because I didn't have the VPN kill switch enabled. I'm going to refresh it one more time. Now it should only have four server because fully connected to uh, NOR VPN and only using my DNS server. All right, next we're going to switch Proton VPN back on. So it should automatically connect to a Proton now instead of NordVPN because a Proton VPN is tier one and NordVPN is tier two. All right, and we're gonna refresh it. And yep, it automatically connect to a Proton VPN. And the last scenario, I'm gonna show you what happened when I have the VPN kill switch enable so when I head over to a firewall and then um, under rules floating rules we're gonna create a VPN kill switch you want to select add a new one and it's gonna be block and then the interface gonna be uh, wire area network or wang and then the direction gonna be out all right we go down to uh, descriptions and we're gonna call it the uh, VPN kill switch and we go on to uh, select show or high advanced future and we're gonna select match local tag and we're gonna put in there no underscore WAN underscore e -red. and we're gonna select up set so this is only work if you follow my review tutorial uh, if you're not, um, the way I do this VPN kill switch might not work for you. And we're going to go back to uh, system. And we're going to go back to gateway, configurations. And I'm going to mark the Proton VPN as DAO. And it should switch over to the NOR VPN. Notice is color spinning that because the um, VPN kill switch is kicking it detect that the um, proton v uh, VPN went down so it's only reconnect when it fully established connection with the uh, NOR VPN and if we go ahead and disable NOR VPN actually configurations 
and then uh, we're gonna mark no VPN as Dell apply and notice it keeps spinning so now we completely uh, lost internet even though in the roof we still have the wang but that because we set the VPN kill switch if either one of the VPN go down uh, then it would disconnect the internet so some of you ask me like what rule do I need to set for it to automatically switch over to the wang uh, you don't have to set any rule you just have to disable the VPN kill switch so by default if you have VPN and connect it sure it work but if VPN disconnected it will expose your IP address um, which the Wang it already show your public IP address so if you don't want a VPN kill switch uh, you don't have to set it so if your VPN go down uh, the first the primary one the backup one go down it will automatically default back to Wang and you still have internet connection all right and let's restore it uh, we're gonna go back and then we're gonna select uncheck the gateway at Dow all right and I'm gonna apply changes and we can go back to firewall and alias so now you can delete out the two alias that we no longer need it all right and then we can apply and if you have a uh, monit temporary disable like I show you make sure you go back to monit and then and then under server settings we're gonna select gateway alert and we're gonna select apply so that will restore our gateway alert before I wrap up the tutorial I'm gonna show you one last thing so I'm gonna go ahead and refresh and then we're gonna go through the IP address test and notice that it actually detect my public uh, IPv6 address so this is the IPv6 leak which I didn't address in um, the other tutorial however if you wanna mitigate this uh, what we can do is we can add the firewall rules so you select firewall and then you select um, rules and floating and we're gonna select add to add the new rules and we're gonna select block and then the interface is gonna be uh, WANG or white area network and for the IP gonna be IPv6 the direction gonna be out so we're gonna lock all the IPv6 that go on out of our network and then we're gonna select set and we're gonna select apply changes now we're gonna go back to the browser leaks and we're gonna refresh it and notice that it's not able to uh, detect my IPv6 anymore and uh, that concluded the today tutorial if you think the video is helpful or you enjoy watching the video uh, don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye